Imagine we want to span this, these two books again. Let's put a beam across it. And let's see what's happening to the beam as we put weight on it. Evenly spaced lines will help us see what's really happening inside the beam. We put weight on and immediately we see the bottom part is stretching and the top part is compressing and crunching in. And the line through the center is not changing at all. That means that there's no force on it at all. We don't need material in the center. That is a great discovery. Let's start designing our beams. Won't this be great, Anna? Yeah, 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 totally. So we start with our beam. And now we can see that a little bit of weight curves it. But remember our rule? We don't want stuff in the center. So let's move everything we can from the center line. There, now it's taller. We have stuff far from the center and look how much stronger it is. But we can use thinking and keep going further. We want nothing in the center and everything far away. Well, that's what we have right here. An I-beam. Look at all that up top and bottom and almost nothing in the center. And look, yes, that really works. That's rigid. Let's do more thinking. Let's keep going. We can trace these lines and teeth, and we can cut out those teeth. And what do we do? Once we cut it out, we can lift, slide, and lock. We just made a taller beam, and again, we don't need this stuff in the center. This is perfect. What does our new beam do now? It's taller, it's stronger, and now, this is really exciting, Anna, we have room for plumbing, electricity, heating and cooling vents to go through. When they invent that, we'll be able to put it right through this beam. Wasn't that great? I really enjoyed this. How about you, Anna? Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Excellent. Well, in the next episode, we are going to show you how a sewing machine works. It's probably my favorite one. I am very excited, and we'll see you next time.